Welcome back to my Unreal Engine first person animation tutorial series. So I was a little sick, so in the past days I haven't uploaded anything. But now we can go on and I think we can start now with our scopes. So I'm a little hyped and I think we can start. So uh, we already have our weapon here and we also can aim with our iron sight. Oh, we can also shoot. I forgot that. So let's go into our browser and let's search for some attachments. Um, let's look under Sketchfab or uh, another website. So I would like to start with a holographic scope. Yeah. So <clears throat> what we basically do is uh, we have our procedural aim function in our character. So we basically just attach the scope onto our weapon and just set the position of the camera. So yeah, it will automatically so just position and positioning. I don't know. So um, yeah, this is a, a pretty good model. So let's download this. Also make sure uh, with the license or you don't get in any trouble. I don't want to upload this project, so I just can download it without any, uh, yeah. So let's go into our FKS tutorial folder, weapons, and here's a folder I have to delete because it's uh, not in your folder. So <laughs> I'll just create another folder and call it scopes. <laughs> And yeah, just save it here and let's go into Blender. Um, like so, press A and delete file import mm, GLB. And let's grab our scope again. Mm, here. So here's our scope. Oh, I forgot to, let's undo this. I forgot to set the unit scale to 0 0.01. Like so, import again. Okay. So we see it's pretty, pretty big. So let's just, uh, first let's press A and control and A. And let's say all transforms. So let's delete those oh wow okay let's press a again and control and j oh it's not working so i expect it yeah like this so we join all meshes together so we only have one left and let's delete those plane axes oh wow <sighs> uh like so So we only have our mesh left. So let's rename it to holographic scope. Oh, I'm freaking stupid. <laughs> scope. So um, we see in the dimensions it's five meter big. So let's scale it down to like some centimeters. I think this is good. So let's see with the materials activated. Yeah, it's uh, a bit see-through, but I think in Unreal it will look better. So let's save this and call it sm underscore holographic scope. <laughs> uh, let's save it and let's export it real quick so the geometry will be smoothing on face and yeah we can ignore that so let's let's export it and go into unreal so let's go to first person weapons mesh and create another folder and call it attachments and create another 
call it holographic scope. Yeah. So um, let's grab our mesh here. Here it is. And yeah. So let's import all. And we see it doesn't have any text first because we have to export them out of Blender. But the mesh is looking good. If your mesh is a bit like, yeah, I don't know, it's not that sharp and it's a bit, so the edges are not quite wound or something. So let's uh, make sure when you export it, uh, the smoothing on the edge is activated. So go to shading and we have two materials here. This material is yeah, useless. So we have those two materials here. So let's start with the red dot and just grab the images here and export them. So let's rename them real quick. So T underscore holographic scope underscore uh, what was it called? The red dot. All right. So holographic scope red dot underscore base so the white was the metallic and roughness let's copy this oh no I deleted it so let's name let's copy this name here and just paste it and call it metallic roughness and this is the emissive I don't know if we need it, but let's also export it. So let's go into the other material, uh, into the scope. And just export them also. So we don't need the occlusion. Only those three. So let's call this just holographic scope base this the metallic roughness and the normal okay we have every material now let's create another folder and call it textures and just import so now we have those two materials here. Let's open them up and just put the textures in there. So red dot, red dot, those three. The normal map, the metallic and roughness. So the B, so the blue value comes into the metallic and the uh, G so the green value comes into the roughness roughness <laughs> and yeah the base color so let's save it also uh, the link from the model will be in the description so this is looking pretty good so now the red dot material grab your textures import them what was the base of this? So, like so. The emissive, I am not sure. I don't know. So, let's delete it. I, I think we, we don't need this. So, put this, plug this in, and save. And, oh, yeah, we, we can't see through it. So, we have, all right. So, I know we can't fix the, pr uh, the problem here. So we have to do something with our model. So let's go into Blender and with the scope texture selected, let's select our model and let's go to edit mode and go under materials and the scope here. Let's deselect everything and select. So we can see that this front here is selected this front 
but uh, we don't want that because in Unreal it's not see-through. So let's select one thing here or yeah, look from the front and let's select those. Just uh, press Ctrl and L to uh, select the linked uh, vertices. Okay, so we have it from the front, now from the back. Oops. Okay, so now when we have those selected, just uh, click here uh, under the red dot, assign. So when we click on the scope and select it, we see that this is not part of it. So let's save it, select our model again and export it so and let's grab a model here and re-import it so now we can see it's see-through we see our little red dot here also we can change the red dot uh, texture here uh, but not yet uh, so let's go into our weapon base class like so, and we have a variable here called the scope type and let's go and set under blueprints, data, weapon side enum and add an another enumeration. <laughs> let's call it holographic and save this and go into the base class. And now we have to create another function. Yeah, so the function name will be uh, scope uh, scope mesh update. So we already have a, a static mesh here called scope. So let's say here select weapon. Oh no. Uh, I'm not select switch weapon side enumeration and the selection is our scope type all right so basically we just grab our scope here set static mesh so on the iron side we set it to nothing and under the holographic we set this to our holographic scope but uh, when we see and set uh, so when we set uh, the holographic scope it will be like somewhere but not on the weapon so we have to create a socket so let's uh, let's go into our desert eagle So on the skeleton and we have some bones here let's create another socket and call it the scope socket or just scope and let's add a preview asset and our holographic scope oh it's pretty big so let's get it down to like a uh, point six Yeah, it's also yeah. okay. This is this is fine. So now we can see when we put it onto these attaching rail. Or I don't know what's the name of it, but uh, yeah. 
So let's save this and let's go into the base. So after that, we can grab our scope again. And let's say attach component to component. The parent will be our base mesh. And the socket name we will promote to a variable. And the socket name, so the variable name is uh, scope socket name. Uh, let's say under location, snap to target, snap to target, and snap to target. And yeah, so let's have a quick look. Uh, let's go to blueprints and grab our desert eagle and let's look what it is. So the scope socket name is scope. And when we now set our scope type here to holographic, nothing will work because we have to set, uh, we have to call the function here. So compile save. And we see now that we have the scope attached to our weapon. And when we set it to iron side, it will disappear. So this is looking pretty good, but now when we play with the holographic scope, you can see here it's looking quite good. But when we aim, nothing work because we haven't set up the uh, procedural aiming with our scope. So let's do this real quick and then we are done with the tutorial. So uh, yeah, let's close these tabs. Okay, and let's go into our character. Okay, all right, so let's go into the procedural aiming uh, function. And here we can see under the select the iron side and the holographic. So let's copy those values first and let's look if they are quite in the same range. So yeah, we can see now when we aim, it's like on the iron side, but so we have, a, have to go a bit uh, more to the more up. So under the Z, let's say three. Oh, okay. So we have to uh, go into the minus, so like minus three. Yeah, yeah, okay. So maybe minus 2.5. Oh, uh, ah. Yeah, minus, let's say zero. Just say zero, zero, ah, uh, zero, one, uh, minus one, sorry. Yeah, minus 1.5, minus, minus 2, minus 2. Yeah, so I think this is good. We can now see, we can aim with our holographic score. Oh, this is so loud. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so in the next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but uh, you can also write some ideas in the comments. So I've got also some other feedback in the comments and I really appreciate it guys, you really made my day and yeah, thank you. Thank you for all the support and I would really love to go on in the future with those tutorials and <laughs> So in the next episode, I don't know, write some ideas in the comments below and all the links are in the comments. And yeah, I think we're done and have a good day and bye bye. <laughs>